Hi everybody, I've been asked to share with you some tips and techniques that I use in writing my novels. So I decided to make a series of short videos to show you how I do this. Now, I use OneNote. A lot of people use Scrivener, but I prefer OneNote. I've got Scrivener, I just don't like using it that much because I still write in Word. So anyway, I'm going to show you how I have things set up. So when I open up and I start one, I normally go with proposal, the characters, setting, research, synopsis, and then things that are strictly to each of my books. I always put my proposal in there so I can remember, and then my characters. Now I grab my pictures either from picture uh, people that I actually know, um, which I did in my Dark Artist series or I grab them off of um, free royalty sites, but I don't publish them anywhere. So I put my the photo here, and then I put notes here, and as I'm writing, especially if it's in a series, I can add more, but you'll see I put all my characters up and down. I even normally put on walk-on characters and anything like that so that I know what I need to put in there. And then I go back and then, like setting, I'll take pictures of houses and the location. Um, and sometimes I'll just put notes in here with pictures so that I can see the actual landmarks to remind me. Then I put in research and I'll put all the information down here. And then I go ahead and I put, I can put in um, pictures, I can put in spreadsheets, I can put in charts, anything that I've made. Then I go in and do a synopsis, and I can make notes. I'm not letting you read that. <laughs> I can also pull in pictures that I'm using for inspiration or that I'm actually using in. And then I can put in just more details. So anyway, that's, that's the initial of what I set up before I start writing and um, I add to it constantly. So, um, again, you just find something that's gonna work for you. Um, I'm comfortable with OneNote, so I put all my novels in there. As you'll see, if I was gonna go in here to open, I have all of them stuck in here so that I can pull them back up at any given moment. And so, thank you for watching.